and good day. My name is Jürgen Steinmetz from eTurbo News, and this is a breaking news update. For more news updates and shows, please go to youtube.com slash travel news group, youtube.com slash travel news group. Here's our update. American military veterans climb Mount Kilimanjaro to benefit clean water. 12 American military veterans and professional athletes climbed Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania to raise funds for clean water supply to about 1 million people in different parts of the world. The six-day conquering Kili trek took off on Tuesday of last week said the Tanzania National Parks Authority, Tanapa, in a statement. The goal of the conquering Kili trekking mission was to empower current and former athletes, military combat veterans, and clean water advocates from the United States of America to unite for a collective impact in better communities by climbing Mount Kilimanjaro and raising funds to build sustainable water wells. It started with Green Beret and former Seattle Seahawk Nate Boyer joining Chris Long in challenging combat veterans and the National Football League NFL, alumni to join them on a new mission, that of conquering Africa's highest peak, Mount Kilimanjaro. Each new conquering Kili class accepted the challenge to embark for the summit. The trek to the summit represents the miles that many African women journey on a daily basis to fetch water for their families. While training for the climb, each team member worked to raise funds and transform communities through the gift of clean water. As an example, well site number 20 is located in Sanya Station in the Kilimanjaro region and was completed in October 2017. This well serves 7,500 Maasai villagers and produces 10,000 liters of water an hour. This well was funded by the 2017 Conquering Kili class. It has saved the villagers a five-mile trip to their previous water source, which equates to 1,643,104 yearly hours saved. The availability of clean water in the village will help people spend more time on other development activities, directly impacting the effect of waterborne illness and the social well-being of the whole community, said Sonia Station, a resident of the village. This year's Conquering Keeley participants included Calder Kegley, Colin Anderson, David Aberg, Aaron Baskin, and Joe Pompliano as well as Joe Witt Jordan Heath, Kerry Rock, Scott Hardesty, Sheen Harris, and Sean Carter. According to Ms. Nancy Hopkins, Executive Director of the Chris Lung Foundation, is Conquering Keeley is their clean water initiative. The group reached Uhura Peak, the highest point in Africa on February 26, 2022, and was back in Tanzania's northern tourist city of Russia on February 27. More news about Mount Kilimanjaro. Thank you for listening to our news update. There's more on youtube.com slash travel news group. Or you can read us, of course, in going to our news portal at etobernews.com or travelnews.online.